Tenai Mwari, my name is Brother Lida Bandaka, spiritual leader of the Al Kebulan Revivalist Movement, and I'm proud to be a part of this community planning process to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the Black People's Day of Action. This is a day that we have named and claimed for ourselves as a people. And that's the fundamental principle of the day. We're naming it and we're claiming it. The reason why you should come on this march is because 14 black people were burned to death in a house party in New Cross. What has happened to those 14 black people, it could happen to you. Name it and claim it. This 2nd of March, 1981, 30 years ago, was and remains the most powerful event in the African presence in Britain, where 25,000 African people took to the streets to demonstrate and to protest against the injustices that we as a people were facing in this country. We were demonstrating against police brutality, the woefully inadequate response of the police to the investigation of this tragedy that took place at 439 New Cross Road. But we were also on that day, brothers and sisters, demonstrating the power, the pot power potential of our people united. We demonstrated African solidarity on that day in a way that we had never done before and we have never done since. This is why it is important to commemorate this day. The reason why you need to be at the Black People's Day of Action March is because it's about 14 young African children who lost their lives. If we don't remember them, they will be forgotten. So we need to get together as a community because if we don't claim it and name it, we will lose it. We will remember 30 years ago, but we are also going to commemorate, we're also going to evaluate what has happened over the last 30 years to examine where we are now and why we are where we are as a people. But more importantly, what we still must do as a people in order to take control of our present and to determine our future and to create a brighter and better future for our people. We intend for this day to culminate into the, our community in mass agreeing a national program of action to empower ourselves as a community, as a people, as a nation, to take control of our lives, to build African institutions, to build an African economy, to build African schools, whatever, it, whatever we need to empower our community. It is history, living history in the making, yeah? It is an undertaking that we have with our ancestors from 30 years ago to make sure that we link the past to the present. That's the only way the past lives. Black People's Day of Action, name it and claim it. So we intend to make this a momentous day, a day that we will be able to look back on with pride, but more importantly, our children 30 years from now will not be asking the questions that we are asking today. Where have we gone wrong? The reason you need to come to the Black People's Day of Action March is this. History doesn't repeat itself, but it certainly does rhyme a lot. And what they've done to us, they're going to do to you. Black People's Day of Action, name it and claim it. The reason why the commemoration will be on a weekday is because the 2nd of March falls on a weekday. We are certainly calling for African people to take the day off from uh, work, to take the day off from study, whether college or university. Take that day off. Take our children out of school on that day, as other communities do when they have their special day. The reason why you need to come to the Black People's Day of Action is because we are always complaining that nothing happens. But then my question is, what is it that you are doing for your people and for your community. This is a day for all of us to come together and finally do some action instead of talking. Black People Day of Action, name it and claim it. On 
the day, we will start off in the morning with a march, a symbolic march from 9.30 in the morning. Uh, we will march, we'll gather at the Moonshot Club at Pagnell Street in New Cross. And then we're going to move from the, the center to the site where Brother Collins, one of the fathers of one of the fatal victims, planted 13 trees in remembrance of the fatal victims. But these trees were removed by Lewisham Council without notice. So we are going there to pay our respect. We're going to move from that site to 439 New Cross Road, which is where the awful tragedy occurred. At that site, we will be pouring libation to the fatal, to the spirits of the fatal victims. We will be acknowledging the, the 27 injured survivors, their bravery, and also their suffering uh, as well. You need to come to the Black People's Day of Action because it is important that you are part of this new history. We're not there to demonstrate, we are there to commemorate. But after the commemoration will come organization for our liberation. Black People's Day of Action, 2nd of March, name it and claim it. Revolution means complete, constructive change. Well, revolution can't be a bad thing. We certainly need complete, constructive change to the present condition that we are in as a people. We have to get together and empower ourselves to change the reality of our young people, our children, being the lowest achievers in the British educational system, being six times more likely to be excluded from school, being ten times more likely to be stopped and searched and harassed by the police on the streets, being up to five times more likely to be given a custodial sentence. More of our young people are in prison in some boroughs than are going to university. So if we understand revolution in that context, this is a revolution. And this is a revolution that is well overdue. And this is a revolution that will be televised. You need to attend the National Black Day of Action on Wednesday the 2nd of March. The black people need to come together and mobilise to deal with our own things. We need to come together as a community to deal with our um, problems, to find solutions as a collective. Black People's Day of Action, name it and claim it. There will be many other events following this, but this is just the foundation. And what we were seeking on the 2nd of March 2011 is a mandate from our community that we can go away and start to make plans to establish the African National People's Parliament and African Leadership Council. As a young African man in this time, it's essential that all of us come together and take part in the National Black People's Day of Action. Why? Because we, as young African people, are the generation of the time that is now. Yeah? It's we are the future and it's our responsibility to take the fight for our people's liberation forward. Black People's Day of Action, name it and claim it. Nation building, nation building is our purpose on that day. Young black people, you need to come to the National Black People's Day of Action because there are too many problems in our community. Too many of our young sisters are beefing over so many irrelevant situations. Too many of our young men are killing themselves. Our economic solution is one of the worst in the world. We are 500 years behind. We need to do so many things and as the youth, there's so much we need to grow and there's so much we need to do together. We need to help each other. And on this day, when we stand in solidarity, we don't only stand for those of us here, but in Africa, in the Caribbean, Latin America, especially for those in the Congo. That's a situation that all of us are very well aware of. Black People's Day of Action, name it and claim it. In the words of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey, unite, organize now or perish. Rise, you mighty African people, for you can accomplish whatever you will. Tendai Mwari, thank you very much. Thank you.